guys. Here we go. <laughs> we're gonna do some Adam Sandler now. Uh, no, we won't. Well, the Excited Southerner, that's me all the time opening stuff. So you got the Excited Southerner opening, Tops Archives, Signatures, Retired Player. I wa- hey, the best case ever, I open to this, no joke, we hit nine Eric Davises. I bought them all back. Like, you should see my Eric Davis Archive Signature Series collection. All because of my, my one friend that bought all those spots that one night, late, late in the condo, in the basement of my condo. Um, anyway, so guys, here's how we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to randomize, uh, all of them. So as we hit the cards, I'll just type in the names and, uh, then we'll do the randomizer at the end, uh, with everybody who, who jumped in the break. So many thanks you guys. This is literally, it's one of my favorites, the retired player edition, because we'll see, hopefully we'll see the cards keep getting modern and, you know, as each year goes by, they get a little bit younger, but, uh, I hope we'll see some of those old tops designs that. Uh, we'll, we'll all remember from our childhood, right? I hope so. All right, so all 20 of you guys are in. Boom, from from Nelson to Mike. Thank you, guys. Uh, and uh, good luck. Hopefully, we see multiple one-of-ones. We have had a case where we hit like nine, nine of them, nine uh, one-of-ones. It was crazy. Um, so there are cases that are super loaded, and then there's some that we've seen over the years that are uh, absolutely Hilarious with the same same players over and over and over again, but I, I think we'll be better. <laughs> Boom. All right. This is interesting. There's a couple boxes that were upside down that came out of the case. All right, maybe those will be the big ones. I love it. I'll be two holes. I'll be two holes on the top. <laughs> I'd smother myself in brown mustard and relish. Be so delicious. I would have to, guys, I, I got a wig back here with giant glasses bent out of uh, a coat hanger wire with electrical tape around it. Don't get me started, man. <laughs> <laughs> the one year I lived at Ohio University, I literally dressed up as Harry Carey and walked around Court Street with a giant Halloween party and was doing Harry Carey all night and I was had no voice for like a week. <laughs> all right. Well, it's random hit, so let's just get started. Let's get right to it as we go through them. We'll type them in. Thank you, guys, man. We'll, we've always got time for a little impressionism. Uh, all right, here we go. I'm going to spell a word for you, and you're going to tell me what it is. A R C R. Remember Sammy? He's like, Sam, Sammy can't spell. Sammy jump in front of the truck. All right, you got to be careful now. Buyback autograph, first one. Wow, that's cool. Uh, the great wine, Married Child. Uh, and that's another great one. Uh, you know, the great John Miller, who still calls Giants games. He was on Sunday Night Baseball, uh, along with the great Joe Morgan. And that's, uh, uh, that's a palindrome parallel. Uh, two of 20. There it is. How about Married Child? So, uh, and that's uh, from the 2019. That's a little throwback. I love that, dude. Marichelle 20. That's a good, good little hit. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to pop in the full serial number because you never know. You might get the same card. All right, here we go. State charges 74 and 74 and Nanny Fay. And there's Brian Wilson. Not the famed Beach Boy. He signs his name a little bit better. 10 of 29. Brian Wilson. He was a closer, right? Yeah, 48 saves back in 2010. 
So they're not going to be. They wouldn't all be. Re they're all. They're all. They're not reprints. They're original cards. These are all original tops cards. Uh, Evan, thanks for asking. Yeah, they're all original cards made made from the sets, uh, purchased back by tops and then signed by the uh, the players. So these were all never. They were never signed. They, they're not reprints or anything. And uh, the only thing is, yeah, they, there we go. I'll try to get them. I don't know which. I'd rather have a Brian Wilson Beach Boys, but you know. So a couple of Giants. If we were doing a random team Giants, what was that ten of twenty nine? We were doing uh, <clears throat> a team break, man. Gee, be a nice start for the uh, for the Giants. The Giants spot. All right, here we go. And Bert Bly Levin, Hall of Famer, who still signs his name so well. Gosh, that jersey. Was anybody anybody uh, went to see the, the the Pirates played in that era? I mean, that had to be. You want to see guys' crazy stats. Look at his final card. Like, wait, he pitched into what? The 90, right? Like, 90, like uh, 89 or something was last year. Anyway, Burt Blyle had incredible numbers. <laughs> Burt be home. <laughs> Bucky then. Woo, two of six. Tops. American Pie. Bucky Dent, two of six. He made that back in 2001. Bucky Dent. All right, so Dent out of six. Our lowest number so far. Next, pop a top. Ginter. Sheffield, 08. What team, guys? I wouldn't have got that right. Tigers, 21 to 23. Oh, that's cool. Chef to 23. Chef, always, I love that signature. Gotta have a Sheffield in my car. I don't think I got one yet. By the way, guys, if you're looking for tough serial numbers, so I'm, my son is July 14, so I'm always looking seven out of 14. And last year, or the last time we did this, it was active player edition. I got a seven out of 14 card of Austin Riley, and I was very lucky to, to acquire it back from our, our, our uh, collector. So if you hit a seven out of 14, I'll bug you about it too. Just like Geno Smith. I'm going to hit Geno Smith for the Seahawks in the next Immaculate Case. Uh, Kent Herbeck. There he is for the Twins. You know that design very well. There it is, the 84. And that is, yeah, the top. Sometimes I'll mix in an Opeachy card. Uh, the Opeachies tend to be much lower numbered. Herbeck, 27 out of 42. 2742. <clears throat> All right, and Mo Vaughn trucking, trucking it through. Man, I was a fan of Mo Vaughn because I had his minor league rookie card. I thought was such a good one. <laughs> Sixty-five of eighty-one. I think Mo lived in the Cleveland area. Seton Hall, yeah, 87, the Hall. <clears throat> Mo Vaughn, trucking company, he does have. All right. Newman. We can mash. All right, next. Interesting, 17. Brandon 
Webb. Brandon Webb, the ace for the Diamondbacks. For a good bit in there, 6 of 12. That's a neat card. I don't remember buying any of the year 2009. Nope. But man, Brandon Webb, he was freaking good. Fantasy baseball is what I remember him from. And that's, uh, yeah, another nice low numbered card, 6 of 12 from the Bowman set. <clears throat> That's a new auto, too. I haven't seen Brandon Webb autos. All right. Oh, we got a Piazza. We got a Piazza! Long ball lore. The beautiful Allen Ginter set. And that is a one of one for the New York Mets. Wait, it's a random. Everybody with a shot at that Piazza. Boom. Long ball lore from the 2020. We pulled a lot of those. <laughs> a lot of those when we were doing our case breaks of Allen and Ginter. That's awesome. Hall of Fame 101? Yeah, I'll take it. Good luck, everyone. Piazza. One of one. First one. Yes. First one of one. Let's have another. Come on. Uh oh, is this the 1992? Yep. All right. And that's a cool photo. Yeah, there he is. Hall of Famer, too. New Hall of Famer. Lee Smith. 42 of 51. Save leader the year before. Lee Smith. 42 of 51. Same there. All right, one, two, four, five, six. We still got 10 left, guys. That's half the case. <clears throat> Brent, I know we got cases on order. I don't know about it being delayed. I mean, a lot of stuff gets delayed for a little bit, but uh, Brent, we, should, we expect it. All right, that's not his real autograph. Who is this? Oh my gosh, that that's a great that's a great look. Right there. Lamb chops with a crazy beard. Joe Rudd. Must have been a fan favorite. <laughs> ah, there we go. What can we what can we find out about Joe Ruddy? Rudy? Tell me, is it Rudy or Ruddy? Wow, he was with Oakland and then all of a sudden he got traded. Led the league in doubles in 74. 1977 tops. Joe Arruti. West Coast guys, any? Yeah. Dang, I've been opening a lot of boxes over the years. That's not one name I've come across. Blowouts uh, release counter is usually pretty darn up to date. I always look there, and of course we get emails from the company, so I'll have to look, Brent. Let's see. Oh, sweet, Bowman. 91 Bowman. Devon White. Another one that I haven't seen too much of. Remember Devon White, man. That's uh, four of 23. 90 Bowman. This is, this is the second year. Yeah, 1990. Ah, oh, man. I missed out on buying 89 Bowmans. And I, when I, by the time I got around and started buying Bowman, I'm like, oh, boy, this is. It was. I learned late. Uh, I learned too too late that it was not uh, not much value in those old Bowman cards from that season, anyway. We got Frank Thomas, that was about it. Remember Jerome Walton? He was supposed to be the big guy. All right, you drew, drew, you love Lisa. How about Jerome Walton? And, uh, Lee, and uh, what was it? Um, it was Walton and David, David Smith. No, what was it? David Smith? What, what was this? Who was the Smith who was also the, uh, the, the big rookie that year? Dwight Smith? It was Dwight, wasn't it? Dwight Smith. All right, Los Angeles Dodger. 
that Eric? Yeah, Gagne. Eric Gagne! Seven of seven. That's another serial number I, I like. Because seven and seven's 14. That, that gets there. My seven of 14 serial number chase. Uh, the bazooka. Yeah, a pet remembers. So what's up, Al? Eric Gagne. Gosh, man. So Greg Jeffries was a huge bust. Uh, Brian Taylor was a huge bust, and then you had Jerome Walton. Kind of, it was it was. But ha those were tough years. Tough years. <clears throat> Eric Gagne. Gagne. Oh, that guy was nasty, and then all of a sudden he couldn't pitch anymore. All right, here we go. Yes! Oh, man, I want this card. Cincinnati Reds, 89 tops. Paul O'Neill. I love this. 38 of 61. That's right in my wheelhouse, man. I bought tons of 89 tops packs for whatever it was, 35 cents. Oh, that's an awesome card. Good. There's 61 of them, so. I can get one, if not this one. Oh, man. On oh, the 1990 World Champions. Oh, that's awesome. O'Neal. 38 of 61. Young Paul O'Neal. All right. Six more, guys. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Moss, another one. Well, he, yeah. He, what do you have? The home run, ha, uh, the, the uh, single season home run record for a while for rookies. Ah, Jim Abbott, another great one from that era. Six of 27. This, th These were the most inspiring cards. I saw J watching Jim Abbott pitch, the few times I got to do it was pretty cool. Not live, just on TV, but man, six of 27. Scott Erickson. Look at those names, guys. Jack Morris and Jack McDowell. Jimmy Key. Kevin Delpani. So Abbott is numbered 6 of 27. 92 All-Star. In the 91 game. Six of twenty-seven. All right. Oh, that's so much fun. All right. Good luck, guys. Truly was. I mean, talk about inspiration and really good. Okay, Bernie. Come on, guys. Who's it gonna be? Bernie. I mean, the only one I can think of would be Bernie W. It's gotta be right, Bernie W. Ooh. Yes, sir. Oh, what a card. Yes, sir. It's a one of one. Boom. From Heritage. Now that is dynamite right there. Heck yeah. Bernie Williams, one of one. This is from the 2004 Heritage set. Bernabe Figueroa Williams. <laughs> Call the base runner out. I love the stuff on the back. Oh, man. That's an era of trading cards that you just can't. Ah, I'm sad. I missed that era. So, Bernie Williams, one of one. Beautiful card. Good luck, guys. So, one of one, number two. Number two. All right, here we go. <coughs> All right, here we go. Robert, no, man, that, that Bijan out of, did you see the Bijan out of five? I think that's going to do well. I certainly, certainly think you could get some back on that one. 
1965. We got Fergie? Oh, there he is. That's cool. So 65 to 83. 20 out of 41. Super veteran. What year did this come out of? 83 tops. Super vet. Nice. So Jenkins, 20 out of 41. There we go. All right, so we got that one. We'll put that up there on the top, too. All right, three more. Come on, let's hit another one on one. Weird, no Eric Davis yet. Come on. Oh, two out of 20, two, uh, two out of 23. Reds. Oh, like, there he is again. Another Cincinnati Red. Tony Perez. Boom. I know those cards, these are so cool. They picked up some new, some new ones. So Perez from the 2017. This is Heritage too, isn't it? It says tops on it. Anyway, oh, this is not, not a year that I know much about either. Tony Perez, though, great looking card. Number two of 23. All right. And box 19. Hip hip, Jorge Posada. Another one of one. The Allen and Ginter Field Generals insert set. There it is, Posada from the 2020 set again. So Ginter making a strong appearance here. Posada. Two Yankees, ones of ones. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Posada, one of one. Let's get another one, man. I love it. We got three. All right, here we go. Another Allen and Ginter card. Rollins. Jimmy Rollins. Yeah, I think so. On the J-Roll, 29 of 79. You know, we haven't had a Jimmy Rollins sighting in a long time. That's a nice addition to the uh, Archive SIG set checklist. Jimmy Rollins has a Dodger on there. And uh, that one was uh, from 2006. 15. Yeah, 2015. I can see it better when I zoom in on it, <laughs> of course. All right, so Jimmy Rollins to 79. All right, well, cool, guys. We, you know, hey, it's a, it's a short print set. Oftentimes, we do see multiples of the same player in here or same card, and we didn't in this one at least. So that one, uh, it, it went over pretty well. So good luck, everybody. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, yep, starting with Why the Marriage Child. All right, so we're going to randomize now. Everybody gets a card. Let's see who's getting who. <laughs> True, Al, I know, man. Three plus a two. Three plus a two. All right, so we're going to go five clicks to randomize all the players, all the cards. Come on, let's do the other one right now. Come on, let's go get them. All right, after five clicks, Paul O'Neill at the top of the list down to J-Roll. All right, guys, there we go. <clears throat> and many thanks, everybody. In. So with Nelson down to Mike. Here we go, three plus. And I roll it way over there. And I got a four. All right, so seven times to match you guys up. Sometimes people trade cards. It's all good if you guys want to chat a little bit if you are here in the room. Anyway, good luck. Five, six, and seven. Boom. After the seven click, you get one. Mike at 20. Boom. And paste them. All right, so Yuki, the Paul O'Neill that I want. You got it, brother man. <laughs> 
All right, and let me just sort it alphabetically so it's easier for you guys to find yourselves. All right, yep, yeah, Yuki's still with Paul O'Neill just to double check it. All right, so Drew, you got the, the web, the brand of web, man, the ace. Uh, Valvinus, Tony Perez, Jed, where the Jim Abbott and Burt Blylevin, Edwin Kether, Beck, and Brian Wilson. Joseph, it's hip hip. Uh, he's, he's far away right now. Uh, I'm in the outfield, you know. Okay, Joseph, congrats. Kyle, the chef, and Fergie. Lou, Gagne, the uh, 7 of 7. Uh, Maddie P hits that Piazza, 1 of 1. Bucky Dent for Michael T. Mike hits J. Roll and Juan Marichal. Nelson, move on. Greeny hits the birdie, one of one. Uh, Sahi A with Ali Smith. Uh, that's uh, to 51. And then Shane hits Devon White, Steve D, the Rudy, and Yuki the Paul O'Neill. All right, guys. Thank you very much, man. Rollins is 79. Oh, now you all can say happy birthday to Russ if you want. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so there's the Sheffield. Unless that's a ghost, that might be a ghost account. And I don't really know if it's his real birthday or not. That's just what it said on uh, Face Face Life. <coughs> Birdie, one of one. I love these cards, man. Guys, let's do another one. If not now, let's do it a little bit later. I want to do it. Artie doesn't want to do this. He, he, he doesn't, he, you know. There's that Brandon Webb, and there's the Bucky Dent. Man, I, yeah, the Yankees. Oh, my gosh, the Yankees are crazy in this one. Rudy. The Movon Trucking. There's that Piazza, one of one, Matthew. The Bly 11 from a, a great year. Uniforms of the decade. It's either that or the Astros. And then the Brian Wilson, man. That's a cool photo, man. And then the... The great Juan Marichal. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining. We'll stop and save it there.